since I find a beautiful rose has bloomed and I just say, wow, you look beautiful. <laughs> you won't believe this. When I was growing up, we actually had an experiment at school. The results showed that when you speak to plants, they actually respond better. Celebrating life means not just for me now, it means what are my children going to use tomorrow, ensuring that we celebrate life through doing things that will positively impact the environment. I never pictured my gardening interest growing from that manner in which it started. I liked a rose bush that was grown in my mother's yard. I brought it home and I grew it and it has grown into a beautiful rose bush. So from there, my mother-in-law came to visit and said, would you please mind making some cuttings for me? I did it with joy. When they grew, I took them to her and the joy on her face, she was so grateful. Something in me felt like, okay, I would like to do this again. And from there, I just started making more and more. Gardening is something that you cannot 100% delegate. It's something that you've got to create time for, that you have to have passion for. It requires a lot of patience. When you plant a seed today, some seeds take three months to grow. Some take six months to grow. I have a tree in my yard that has taken three years to grow. We have about 1,600 plants in the yard, over 25 varieties of plants. We've used up the whole space around, so we're trying to optimize the space that we have. The next plan is to set up a larger greenhouse, so very, very excited about that. My kids know quite a lot about plants. I must say that I'm very proud of them. They're able to tell you how to plant and how to take care of the plants, and they've learned because they do it with joy. Part of my job is to do ESG. We planted over 2,700 trees across 10 schools in Lusaka. That was meant to give back to the community in a sustainable way and also educate children on how to take care of trees and the importance of having them in the environment. So my day-to-day -day job may be ESG related. I don't have to stop doing that when I'm at home. The knowledge that we gain is transferable skills that I can apply even in my outside work. This is not knowledge that is going to depart from me. To some extent, I have practiced a lot of patience, knowing that you still need to keep watering. You still need to be taking care of this plant and still trust that it's going to grow. When I look at the whole portfolio of flowers that we have now, it's coming from that one single rose. It's a magical rose, if I can put it that way. I feel proud when a customer is walking away with one of my plants and I know that I grew this and I love this plant and it's going to grow in another garden. It is such a rewarding feeling.